welcome to Slow Living. I'm Esther and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a face mask out of an old t-shirt. Um, this is the first video I'm doing in a series I'm calling Plastic Free July with the goal of reducing our plastic consumption um, and of course very apt in 2020 to be doing a face mask. Um, according to The Guardian I read this really crazy thing that um, because of the virus that shall not be named, um, there will be a massive spike in ocean plastic and that apparently there will be more masks in the ocean than jellyfish. So while I have no idea how many jellyfish there are in the ocean, I imagine it's a lot. And that each mask takes at least 450 years to decompose. That's a long time. So I guess this is one small way that non-essential workers, so obviously it's not going to be hospital grade, um, one small way that we can reduce the amount of disposables that are being used. Um, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, first things first, find an old t-shirt that you want to turn into your face mask. Um, don't use a print though, because we're actually going to turn it inside out, so you won't be able to see the print. Um, do use a t-shirt though, because we need it to be that sort of stretchy jersey fabric that'll give us the finish that we want, and it also won't fray. Now you want to lay the t-shirt down on the table, nice and flat, making sure that the front and backs are together. We're actually starting from the bottom of the t-shirt, so just make sure it's nice and aligned so that we can actually cut them together. Okay, now you should see two lines of stitching down at the hem of your t-shirt. What you want to do is cut really neatly below those two lines. Just cut all the way across from one end to the other until you have this separate bit of um, t-shirt hem, <laughs> let's call it. We're going to use this to actually make the little loops that go around your ears. And how we do that is just by pre-stretching it out, um, just pulling it out bit by bit until you've pulled the whole thing and it sort of resembles string. Now go back to the rest of the t-shirt and just cut off that two lines of stitching. We don't actually need it. Next, measure up about 15 centimeters or six inches up from the bottom of the t-shirt. I'm just using pins to sort of mark it. You can use chalk, um, but I just find pins are really easy to mark and you can see them. And I noticed that that middle pin definitely wasn't in line. So I re-measured it um, and now simply cut straight across nice and neatly using the pins to sort of guide you. Um, take the pins out and then cut off uh, the side seams of the t-shirt. We don't need those sides either, so simply cut them off so that you're left with two sort of rectangular shapes. Since we cut the front and back pieces together, we should have two rectangles um, and you can actually make two face masks from this. Okay, now pick up one of the rectangles and fold it in half like I've done and you'll see that the fabric sort of naturally curls um, one way or the other. You want it to sort of curl towards you like the one that I've done here. If it's curling inwards, um, open up your rectangle and try and fold it the other way. You really want the curl to be facing towards you. Now pop in a couple of pins because that's where we're going to sew down. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can easily hand stitch this. It won't take you very long because this is the only seam that you're going to have to sew. I ended up sewing quite close to the edge of the seam. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're more comfortable sewing with a one centimeter seam allowance, then do that. But otherwise, well, mine was about half a centimeter, I think. And it just means that you've got less fabric sort of flapping around. Now I've just pushed the seam allowance to one side and folded it over. I'm going to tack that in place with a couple of small stitches um, and that's just to hold the fabric in place. Um, if you can't be bothered doing it, it's not a big deal. It just makes it a little bit neater. But if you're hand stitching, I could totally understand skipping this bit. <laughs> and then you basically do the same to the other side as well. Now we find the string that we made earlier and cut it to about 23 to 25 centimeters in length. Accidentally cut my scissors out of this shot, but you can see what I'm doing anyway. 
um, now we use those to finish off the sides of our mask. Um, what I've done is I've turned the mask inside out so that the seam is hidden on the inside. And now you basically loop through those little bits of string um, and tie a nice little secure knot. You can always make the loops shorter, but not longer. So remember to maybe cut them a little bit longer if you're not sure. Once you've done both sides, your mask is basically complete. Um, I was really happy with how it turned out actually for one line of sewing. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> you can hide the little knots that are on the string behind your ears and you won't really be able to see them. Um, and then you can sort of fiddle around with the front of the mask, obviously before you leave the house. Um, move that gathering around so that it sits nice and flat. Um, and then it's all done. So there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to do a new video every week. So. Um, drop me some comments with your suggestions, especially to do with Plastic Free July. Um, and tag me if you make your own face mask. I would love to see it. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Slow Living, and that's slow with an E. Until next time. <music> series that I'm going to try to help you Hi guys, I'm Esther and welcome to Slow Living. In this tutorial, why, why? Germs, even if that's just by reducing the amount of times that you touch your face, which I touch my face a lot, so great for everyone else. <laughs> um, according to such the vi- oh gosh. Oh, turned out. Um, you can find me here, of course, and on Instagram at Slow Living, and that's slow with an E. Because I'm Esther. Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> Stay safe.